Next, I'd like to ask Mr. Marco Gomez, founder of Vubox, to speak. So, uh, my name is Marco Gomez. I'm the founder of Vubox. We work with advertising on social media, like blogs, forums, and other uh, social networks and other uh, social media websites. And the story dates back from 2006. I saw a space on the market because all the advertising on the internet was on big portals and big websites. And the small websites and the independent websites like blogs or small uh, profiles on social networks, they didn't have any advertising. So, and they, they do have and they still have even more uh, big audiences. So a place with lots of audiences and no, and no uh, advertising and that was a very, very good, play, very good uh, space to work and very good uh, space to start working on. So I made a prototype of uh, social media advertising uh, in 2006, uh, got international attention, uh, got investment from a Brazilian company called Monashis Capital and drop it out my university, drop it out uh, from my, my college and uh, quitted my job and moved it to Sao Paulo. I'm from Brasilia, it's about a thousand kilometers from Sao Paulo. I quitted everything that I had back then and moved it to Sao Paulo to start my company, got this investment and started working on this social media advertising idea. Uh, a couple of years later, we got an investment from Intel Capital uh, here in the United States and was very, a, a, very good, uh, a very good opportunity to us to be closer to a very big and important technology company. Uh, and today we reached uh, 60 million people, so it was uh, told in, on, the, on the presentation that is 50 million people, but we, at that time that I, I sent the, the description to, to the conference, it was 50 million people, but we grew very fast, so today is uh, 60 million people every month that we reach with our advertising, only in Brazil. Uh, with advertising campaigns from uh, 105, uh, 1,500 uh, advertisers. And the most important thing is uh, we enable 50,000 independent publishers to make their living and to make money out of what they, they, they produce. So we are talking about bloggers, we are talking about uh, uh, humorists in Twitter and other kinds of independent content pro producers and making, making money out of advertising on, without needing to, to be linked to large media groups is our way to help them to, to, to express the creativity and to be free and to, to have the, the free speech that we, we value so much. So 50,000 independent publishers uh, reaching 60 million people in Brazil. And the, this is very important because uh, independent content is the, the, true, uh, the true free speech. Is, uh, only the internet have this, this ability and this, this uh, feature of enabling anyone, as, as was already being said here, to, to say what they, they want and to say uh, their opinions uh, for, for almost free, uh, without any interruption, without any uh, big uh, uh, interference of large media groups. So we think that independent content is very, very important to democracy and uh, the independent content is the, the true enabler uh, and the social media expressions and the like Twitter and Facebook uh, uh, gatherings that led to, to, to uh, strikes on the streets and, and, and other kinds of, of manifestations. Uh, they are very, very important to democracy. And the monetization of this content is very important also because this is what keeps the, the independent content producers keep uh, producing content, keep producing their independent content and keep uh, spreading their ideas and spreading their, their voice without the need to sell themselves or to, or to, to get hired by a, a high, uh, a big media group uh, controlled by, by other kinds of, of uh, intentions. And Speaking a little bit about uh, policy recommendation, uh, in Brazil and in Latin America, uh, the whole Latin America, we do not have 
laws to assure the freedoms and the rights of the people on the internet. So uh, there are uh, all our politicians back in Brazil and in Latin America, they are using all their will to create laws against the crimes on the internet. And that's, uh, in most of the time they, they are doing it wrong, sometimes they are doing it uh, well, but they are using all their, their uh, voice and all their power to create laws uh, to, to rule against the crimes on the internet, like theft and privacy invasion and, and uh, other kinds of, of crimes. But there are, no, there are discussions, but, but the politicians themselves, the mo most of the politicians themselves, are not talking about the rights of the people on the internet. Like, uh, we do have this, a couple of politicians and lots of people supporting uh, what we we say uh, the Marco Civil, in English would be like Bill of Rights or Civil Regulatory Framework. Are this this uh, Bill of Rights is a kind of a, a, a framework to guarantee the rights of the people on the internet, the rights to free speech, the rights of the free speech, the rights of of freedom, uh, the rights of privacy, not privacy against each other, because uh, it's very important that. I have the control to put online only pictures that, that uh, I want online and to give access only to the people that I want to, to see that, that pictures. This is very important, but more important than that, and nobody is talking about it besides this, this Marco Civil, <clears throat> but the big media and the politicians are not talking about it, is the privacy of the users, of the population against the big corporations because our uh, service providers, they have access to everything that we do online, everything. And there are no, no laws uh, assuring or guaranteeing that this information that we put online are private and they can't trade between themselves and they can't use that uh, without our, our permissions. I don't know here in the United States, but in Brazil and in Latin America, uh, there are no laws uh, assuring that the information that we put online, besides being private to some persons, are also private from the corporations uh, like our service providers, our, our internet service providers. So this is very important. It's very important for us to pay attention uh, in Brazil to the Marco Civil, to the Bill of Rights, and also to keep fighting for the internet freedom and for the, for the rights of privacy as we did stopping, all the world did here in the United States, stopping SOPA and PIPA. We, there are lots of, of laws like that all around the world and we need to, to stop this, this kind of uh, abusive laws and uh, uh, assure the, the, the rights of the people to privacy and, and freedom of speech and, and freedom of will also on the internet that nobody's uh, watching. That's it. Thank you, Marco. So, so I, I believe the question sort of, if I'm focusing it in a bit, is on how can the UN or global organizations help work through the intellectual property uh, uh, rights issues that are faced at a local level? And, and Marco, perhaps you can talk about it from a, from a Brazilian perspective as well. Yes. So, uh, in my view, the copyright laws and the copyright uh, practices are broken. They are being used to protect companies instead of people, instead of the creators. There's this case, probably everybody here uh, have re read about it in the, in the last couple of months, Aaron Swartz, it was a br bright hacker here in, uh, he lived here in, in, in Brooklyn, in New York, and he was an uh, internet activist, very important, a uh, bright guy, a genius for, uh, of his generation, and he killed himself after being persecuted and uh, because of misused copyright laws. Copyright laws being used in favor of large organizations and large interests instead of uh, creators and persons. Uh, and they pursued him so bad that he got uh, extremely depressed and killed himself. I'm not saying that the, the persecution is the, the uh, the one that did it, but he, he got extremely depressed because of the copyright laws being misused used to protect companies and large media groups and large uh, organizations instead of people. 
copyright laws need to protect the creator, not the large company that distributes the creation. That's it. Thank you, Marco.